me Ephesians chapter 5 verse 26. Because we were going back to the point of how do we clean ourselves up as a people? And we all know how to clean up our flesh. What do we do? We go take a shower. Right. We take a bath. You put the deodorant on. You wash the hot spots. You do what you got to do to get yourself clean. But how do we clean ourselves up according to God? Read what you got. Right. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 26. Uh -huh. yeah. That he might sanctify and cleanse it. You see that my sister? That we must sanctify and cleanse it by what? With the washing of water by the word. By the word of God, my sister. We must learn to apply the word of God. Right. But I'm I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. Give me uh give me Hebrews chapter seven. So I want to know like what is we getting our tithes to and some churches say we got to plant a seed. Okay. Okay. All right. I, the churches have lied to our people about tithes. Right. They have lied to our people about tithes. Bring it out. Check this out, my sister. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 12. Right. For the priesthood being changed. So the Bible says that the priesthood was changed. Under the Old Testament, under Moses, do you know who the priests were? They were one of the 12 tribes of Israel. Do you know which one? They were the Levites. Right. The tribe of Levi. God set aside one particular tribe. He said, you all won't have any land at all. We worship God. Right. We worship the Most High God. Right. But I want to make sure that, I, that you understand your first question. Your, the question you just asked, who are we giving the tithes to? I'm going to show you. Read on. There, there is made in this. Read it again. For the priesthood being changed. So in the, under the old covenant, the priesthood was under the tribe of Levi. They served in the temple. They served in the tabernacle. They offered the sacrifices. That was their job. The other 11 tribes, they all had a portion of land. So they had crops. They had animals. They had livestock. They had things to sustain themselves on a day-to-day -day basis. Read on. There is made of necessity a change also of the law. But the Bible says that there will be a change in the priesthood. Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, yes, right. is our high priest now. Right. But guess what tribe Jesus Christ comes from? He don't come from the tribe of Levi, like my brother right here. He comes from the tribe of Judah, like that's me right, right here. That's right. All right, read on. Verse 14. Uh -huh. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Our Lord sprang out of Judah. Read on. Of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Moses didn't say that the tribe of Judah could offer the sacrifices because Judah already had their own land. Right. They already had their own land. Right. Now give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter 14. I'm going to show you something about the tithes. I'm going to show you something about the tithes and how the Christian church uses the concept of tithes to steal money from our people. Right. 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 To steal money from our people. Right. Oh. Now since I need my money, and you smiling, so I know you need your money too. But the Christian church will tell, huh? Well, I ain't saying nothing. I'm reading the Bible to you. That's right. Right. And what did I just read? That the priesthood was changed. So I want you to pay close attention to that. You got what I want? Yes, sir. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 22. Uh -huh. Thou shalt surely tithe all the increase of thy seed. We're talking about what, my sister? It says you should tithe, right? The increase of your what? Of your what? Huh? You ain't hear it? Check it again. Thou shalt surely tithe. We shall surely what? Tithe. All the increase of thy seed. All the increase of your what? Of your what? Read it again. Of thy seed. Of your what? I said tithe. No, of your seed. The Bible said tithe. The increase of your seed. Now common sense will tell you what seed is. That no, that's not common sense. That's uh, false doctrines and vain deceit. That's what right. that is. Right, right. right. Now, right. sister. So what they talk about this morning, the sheep. All right. Okay. Good. We're just gonna keep reading. <laughs> that the field bringeth forth. Hold on, my sister. It said, "Tie the increase of your seed, that the field would bring forth." What kind of seed goes into the field? Yeah. Exactly. Does money grow on trees? 
Does money grow in the field? Bring it up. So the Bible, when it said seed, it was never talking about your money, my sister. So you said you're not going to do something because I said it. I didn't say anything. The Bible says tithe the increase of your seed that you sow in the field. But the Christian church want to tell you that the seed is your what? Your money. Tell them the burden of proof is not on us. Because everything we read to you comes straight out of the Bible. Right. Have the Christian church prove to you that the seed is money. Right. And I guarantee what? They cannot do it. Right. Right. Because it is not of God. Right. That's why Peter said we ought to obey God rather than men. Right. Right. Because a man is going to tell you that the seed is your money so you can come up off of them ducats. But God told you that the seed is sown in the field. Right. Collard greens come out the field. Right. Lettuce come out the field. Right. Tomatoes come out the field. Right. Corn come out the field. Right. Wine come from the grapes that come out the field. Right. Right. They've been lying to our people, my sister. Right. But, and to somehow when we come out here and bring the truth, Somehow we become everybody's enemy. Right. Somehow right. nobody wants to listen to us when we come directly out of the book. Read on. Teach. Year by year. Uh huh. And thou shalt eat before the Lord thy God. So this same seed that you plant in the field, God said you're supposed to eat it. Nobody's eating a plate full of money. Right. But your pastor's taking your money putting it in his pocket and he getting fat off of your money. Right. He getting fat. They called us Negro. Right. They called us black. Right. They called us African American. Right. Right. And then they sent us to the Christian church where they take the Bible and lie to our people with religion. Right. Right. Read what you got. Second Chronicles chapter 6 verse 6. Uh -huh. yeah. But I have chosen Jerusalem. Sister, sister, now I don't want to lose you. God said that he chose Jerusalem. Read that my name might be there. So sister, where is God's name placed? He just said it. Where? He chose where? Jerusalem. God chose Jerusalem, read. That my name might be there. That's what God is talking about. So if the tithes ain't going back to Jerusalem, those tithes are not of God. So we're giving you multiple ways to understand that what you're being taught in the Christian church on Sunday is lies. Right. Read on. In the place which he shall choose uh -huh. to place his name there. Read on. The tithe of thy corn. The Bible says the tithe of your corn. Right. Corn has a what? A seed. Read on. Right. Of thy wine. Your wine comes from grapes. Grapes have what? Seed. Read on. Right. And of thine oil. Oil comes from olives. Olives have what? Seed. Read, Read on. on. And the firstlings of thy herds. Herds. Uh -huh. And of thy flocks. Read. That thou mayest learn to fear the Lord thy God always. Read on. And if the way be too long for thee. So the Bible says if Jerusalem is too far from you. Now we're going to talk about money. If Jerusalem is too far for you, my sister, read on. So that thou art not able to carry it. So if you're not able to carry your bundles of wheat, your bundles of corn, your cattle, your livestock, what does the Bible say? Or if the place be too far from thee, uh -huh. which the Lord thy God shall choose. Where did God choose? Jerusalem. Right. He didn't choose your Baptist church. Right. He didn't choose your Christian church. Right. He didn't choose your Jehovah Witness church. Because right. right. all of those things were established by man and not of God. Right. Right. Read on. To set his name there. Uh -huh. When the Lord thy God have blessed thee, then shalt thou turn it into money. Then you turn your stuff into money. Right. So when the, somebody says that money is not in the Bible, they didn't have money back then, sister. So go ahead and give me 10% of your gross check from that job that you work. Where can you find that in the Bible? You cannot find it. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. is you.